Hey, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about browsers and search engines and uh, what the differences are between the two. A lot of people confuse these two, browsers and search engines. So we're just going to give you a basic uh, idea so you can grasp this. Uh, so basically, browsers, uh, they usually, um, it's something you download, okay, it's a piece of software. You install it uh, on some computers like uh, Windows-based uh, computers. Uh, you're going to have Internet Explorer, so IE for short. Uh, and on a Macintosh computer or an Apple computer, you're going to have uh, Safari, and that comes standard, so standard browser with those computers. And a browser allows you to get on the internet. Okay, so it allows you to go and look at websites. And so that's what a browser is. Now, on the other side here, we've got search engines. So search engines is really, it's a tool, but to, 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 to keep it simple for you, we're just going to call it a website. And they are basically just, they're websites that you go to uh, to search for things. So you will open up your browser to get started because you want to browse the internet. So you'll open up Internet Explorer on your Windows-based computer and you'll go to Google.com. Now Google is a company and Google.com is their website. And it, actually it's considered a search engine. So it'll have a bar there at the bottom and you can type in whatever you want. If you want to look up dogs, you type in dogs and it'll bring up millions of articles on dogs. Uh, so there's lots of search engines to choose from. Uh, you're going to have Google, you're going to have Yahoo, you're going to have Bing, you're going to have MSN. Now, if you want to use these, you just choose the browser of your choice. So you've got Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, uh, Google product, uh, Opera, Safari. So you're going to choose the one you want. Once it's open, then you can choose where you want to go. So you're going to have to, in the search engine, you're going to have to actually go to the address bar at the top of the browser and type in google.com. Then it'll take you to the search engine. And then you can search in the search bar. So there are differences there and it can be a little confusing. So the browsers will have an address bar at the top. Uh, so you can type in, you know, Sears.com, CanadianTire.com. If you know exactly where you want to go, you can type it directly into the browser address bar at the top where the search engine has a search bar. And that's going to get you uh, other people's websites. It's not going to take you directly to any anywhere, right? So if you type in you know, CanadianTire.com in a browser, it'll take you directly to Canadian Tire's website. Where if you type in Canadian Tire in the search engine, which is the search bar, okay, it will probably bring up Canadian Tire as the first link to click on, but it'll bring up a bunch of other links. It could be CanadianTire.com would be the first one, the second one might be Canadian Tire Reviews, uh, the next one might be, oh, Canadian Tire uh, did this to me, did that to me, or they did a great job. You know, so it's going to bring up search engine results. So if you just want to search general, uh, general websites and you want to find out more about a topic, a search engine is great. If you know exactly where you want to go and you, know, you have the address, which would be the .com, uh, like datarecoveryguy.com or whatever, uh, then you would type that right into the uh, browser bar, into the address bar in the browser. So I hope that clarifies uh, things a little bit and tells you the difference between a browser and a search engine. So just to recap, browser, it's the tool that you're going to use to actually get on the internet so you can start surfing. And the search engine is actually where you're going to do searches for links and link results and search results and things like that. Anyway, if you have any questions or you think I'm crazy, leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next video.